right? Yeah. These guys, well, well, Julian particularly, he made me, uh, he wanted to react <laughs> to the listen. Dude, I, the producers are always yeah, trying. They, they, Ours trying are always things, like, yo, you want, me to, you want me to bring him in here and we can get him on the couch? No, no, yeah, no, like, no, no. I want him to go behind his back like an adult. We're going to talk about him. Yeah. Like Last I said to his face, are you kidding me? <laughs> Last episode's title was Rory is Drake's Munch. I'm like, <laughs> thanks, producer. <laughs> Tickets are on sale for KFC Radio Live. Click the link in the bio, get yours, come out and hang with the boys. All right, let's get right into it. We got Rory and Maul. You're drinking a gallon of water a day? I'm trying to, man. You put down like... Two like he he drinks more water than flush. anyone I've ever fucking really? seen in my life. Yeah. Two gallons a day? I don't know exactly how much. I was at the doctor recently. What are these? And these, these are, are this is a liter. How many liters in a gallon? I I probably I put down five six of those no problem. Yeah, that's at the office. Bro, and then, I watch you put down like five of these in like the morning time. Like it's crazy. I, I probably have two or three before I come to the office, and I'm probably putting out four or five here. It's actually then, not that hard to do. It's not. What's it's your not. What's your bathroom break numbers like? Uh, it's through the roof. It's Kevin crazy. thinks I have diabetes. Uh, something's <laughs> wrong. Something's wrong. I mean, every like we'll start the podcast. He's got. He's like, let me let me people for it. Middle of the podcast. Hang on, can we take a break after the podcast? He's yeah. Got to go. I'm like, what? Where is it? You a yeah. camel? What's yeah. happening it's, here? My entire childhood, my mother, anytime I took a piss, took me to the doctor and said he has to have diabetes. <laughs> that's a hundred percent true. My mom has diabetes, so she assumed anytime I urinated, yeah, that's it, it. Meant I had diabetes. It sticks with the only reason I ever think it. When I was in high school, our goalie on the hockey team, he there was a, a phase where like he was getting off all the ice all the time to go piss. Yeah. First of all, it takes forever because you got to take like, a yeah. gear to take a piss. Yeah. Second of all, when you're like pl- practicing hockey, the goalie hugely important piece. Mm. And so like <laughs> some practice, yeah. had I to, think like, you come, need. I think you need a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> had to like, come to a hall and just wait till the goalie came back. Yeah. yeah. And and eventually our coach was like, "You got, I think you have diabetes," <laughs> and he did. It's <laughs> a good call. Good eye, coach. Yeah. It's a good so, call. So like yeah. now I always think of every time I'm like, oh, it's probably diabetes, <laughs> but I'm still pissing highlighter yellow. So as long as my fucking vitamins are in there. I think Good. All right. You're so good. that much water and still, You're still, still yellow? yellow? Oh, y- yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. No, Something's wrong. Your reaction. You might have type three diabetes. Second <laughs> guessing. <laughs> Wait, I, if I drink like one of those, I'm. It's clear, dude. It's like it's just water coming back out. I yeah. actually, like, I literally just pissed. Yellow. Uh, yellow. You got. Like, is it brewing yellow wrong. or? No, yeah, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, it's, what it's yellow? Those, like, it's those right. colors don't run. But, yeah. but, like, <laughs> <laughs> is it because of something else you're taking? You're taking well, yeah, I said vitamins. Okay. It's, it's, and, and it's, oh, it's, so then that's vitamin colored. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Okay. Yeah, not right. dehydrated. I didn't know vitamins had a color. Oh, yeah. It's all the extra vitamins, which is almost all of them. Okay. It's it's all like a, because if you look at the vitamins, it's like, this is 8,000% of your A. Yeah. 7,000% or 7,900% just getting pissed out. And That's why that boxer, I forgot who it was he drank his urine oh Remember yeah that? yeah yeah he, fuck that was i, I want to say who it was, Diaz, it wasn't he Diaz. was like yes yeah, so all the dude. nutrients that you that's yeah. crazy piss out, he, Moises Anybody, Salou, that's what gets your hands nice and tough too uh, yeah. on the back. I, I know the the, 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 the yeah moises salute <laughs> jorge posada a couple of the dudes Ta- was it hands. tyler myers who's like the myers the kid who was in san diego for a while in tampa or it's tampa like, in san diego bro. Uh, either, Will Myers. Posada was a get, piss drinker? Yeah. Uh, no, p- uh, piss, on piss, on piss on the hands. Piss on the hands. Because those guys, they like famously didn't have batting gloves. And they was like, how'd you do that? And they're like, I have calluses and, and it's hardened because I peed on my fucking hands. And I know, I know. Dude, um, take some steroids and put a cork. That's what I'm bat. saying. <laughs> like, or just put some bat like, Don't piss on, on your hands. <laughs> I, 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 I know, just get a cork. Those are cool as <laughs> they work, dude. Yeah, I, they work. I, yeah, either get the gloves or just shut the fuck up. Right. Yeah. I think Moises is so cool. used to do it his father did it, though. And oh, I, so it was like, handed down. I think, I don't know, maybe <laughs> back in the day, you know, if you're playing in the Dominican or some shit, you come up and you're peeing on your hands. I don't know. We have like modern technology now. You don't need to be pissing on your fucking yeah, hands nah, anymore. Although I don't know how modern we have it is. Steroids. Franklin's still <laughs> in the lead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's laughs> like, I feel like if it was super modern, Franklin <laughs> would have sleeping. Franklin's a little company in Massachusetts. You're still like the foreign frame of in, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I uh, yeah, that, I draw the line at any sort of. You can let her on. We don't care if you don't yeah. care. It's up to you. Baze, go crazy. <laughs> Guest appearance by Baisley. Yes. Most amazing, Comes- the most famous dog in podcasting. <sighs> you think I mean, so? She's a service dog. Uh, I would I would think so. I don't know any other podcasting Outside dogs. Outside of Dame Dash might be the only other person I know that brings his dog everywhere the way I do. Do you really? Yeah. Everywhere you go? Mm-hmm. She just did her first flight to LA uh, maybe three weeks ago. She was yeah, she was next to it was uh it was Baisley. Victor Cruz, J.R. Smith, and me. That was, that was the front of the plane. The big four, they call it. Yeah. <laughs> and Victor then 88 Cruz. Keys was there, too, if you're a hip-hop nerd. Uh, do, yeah. do, do you, you said she's a service dog. Do, do you like, is she actually? I mean... But I, she's got a paperwork. I don't know if the... Who would check up on that? Yeah. No, it's oddly weird how easy it is to, just, dude, to make your dog a service dog. Just check a box? I, they just said, yeah, just download this thing and sign it. 
I'm not a vet. <laughs> the entire time, I got to the airport three hours in advance, which I never do, because I was so paranoid that yeah. I was going to get there and they were going to be like, no, because it was the easiest thing on fucking earth. I was like, <laughs> if it was this easy, there'd be dogs everywhere in the airport if everyone knew this. But no are. one asked me for, no one even asked me for the paperwork. A lot of people travel oh, she's with adorable. their dogs, though. I feel like that's, that's a, uh, it's, a it's super common It's more and more now. common. Yeah, yeah, my my buddy's got a dog, same as same, I. I don't even know if he has an app. He... He uh he got her in like California something like that and just like he he got her this is no bullshit I, um her name is Henry after one writer I forget because he got her from a meth head outside a bar in like Northern California naturally and the meth That's head where one was like <laughs> yeah everyone. was like yo fifty bucks for the dog I'll throw in the van. <laughs> and a van. Like, he, he, he took, van he took well. the van too. Yeah. <laughs> what a steal! Yeah. That's <laughs> That's up, like, Fifty dollars the dog <laughs> and the van. <laughs> Meanwhile, I had to rescue Basley from the mall for three grand. <laughs> like, Yo, what? that's one. I could have got a van and a said, crackhead yeah. dog. It was, it was, it was like, it was like straight up like. Uh, like like Kramer, where it's like, dude, you already made the sale. Like, yeah, I was yeah. gonna pay fifty bucks for the dog. You throwing in throwing a fucking a Dodge Caravan on this thing. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna add it a tip. <laughs> he, yeah, and, so. then he, and then he crashed the caravan. He moved to Colorado shortly thereafter. Crashed the van on some Colorado back roads uh, in a snowstorm, mm. and he just left it there because that, like, that shit was he's for like, sure stolen. He by was the way. like, he's like, it's he bought bucks, a fucking so I got dog. The dog is fine. Like, I'll just, I'll just leave this. It probably like murdered fucking... someone in that van and was trying to get it off. Yeah, his yeah. 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 Sure, <laughs> that was Definitely. the murder weapon. <laughs> but uh, anytime people ask when I have had to show the paperwork, they're like, "What service does she provide?" And the number one thing is all fake uh, Anxiety, service dog. Shit, no, because they don't allow that anymore. Uh. It has to be like seizures or something. Oh, really? So it's hilarious to watch me say that to people. Wait, and then wait, they, wait, then wait, they wait, see wait. how she behaves. <laughs> like this dog, oh. if, yeah. if I start biting my tongue, she's not going to do a fucking <laughs> thing but look my face. How can a dog help a seizure anyway? Uh, a, I've I seen guess the videos of it. It's like, yeah. like it starts to bark it? and it knows what to do. I don't, Baze, yeah. Baze doesn't <laughs> even know where to piss. <laughs> Yo, I was going to say, uh, not my dog. Man. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I could barely house train my dog. He's not figuring out how to cure seizures. It's <laughs> like I've seen him on like the front page of Reddit where it's just like someone like fakes having a seizure and the dog like comes right over. Like It's like pins you down kind of deal it is uh, it's like a, i don't like a i don't know get i think i think get that if the only thing you have stopping you from a, a very bad seizure is a dog all the videos i've seen i'm like i don't think it's gonna get the job done no like, <laughs> maybe it does like, great, it, but it's got to go some old yeller like go get somebody boy like, <laughs> she, she's coasting off her looks <laughs> yeah, yeah for real brains aren't there yeah that, that's not that's not it um can we get right to the shits yeah what do you want to do let's get to it what do you guys think of dave's comments uh of Angel Reese, what, what was oh, the building? Oh, oh, right what, what, was, what was the building like? Yo, that, day? that was the building. Well, he, 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 he hasn't been been here in four years. Guys, <laughs> yeah, he, he, so the building was normal. The building, yeah. was <laughs> business Dave, as usual. Davis yeah. said crazier things. The yeah. that was one of those ones where uh, I I opened up Twitter and I was like, I opened up Twitter and I closed Twitter. I was like, <laughs> we're not doing that today. <laughs> What's funny um, is if you know Dave, you know that that is a hundred percent based on who he was betting on. Yeah. So he was just mad he lost like a quarter of a million dollar bet on mm -hmm. women's basketball. Right. Uh, and also, you know, if you know him, like he, he doesn't – he's stupid, but he doesn't mean anything by it. And there's no like ill will racial racism behind it. But it's fucking crazy. Yeah. I was going to gonna call, say yeah. – as a, as, a, as a white dude to call a young black athlete a classless piece of shit, you're going to get it, yeah. you know? I'll, so, I'll, I'll where, say, where do intentions even matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is right. he aware no. that he looked insane? And um, even if his intentions weren't that, it 100% appeared that way. Uh, because I, there was no comment of the other girl that's been taunting everyone for the entire year. Yeah, he, he I mean, I don't think he, he knew. I wouldn't say he, he he was aware that he was insane, but I think, I mean, he's we've, he's done that a million times before. He's been at the center of controversy mm -hmm. for 25 the, years The straight. only other time I had a reaction similar to when I was scrolling Twitter and had like a, like a cartoon like, oh, this is going to be bad, is when he posted Brady's Kid's Day. Yeah, so was I had a feeling where that one, one was going. <laughs> that was the original one. <laughs> that was. That was. <laughs> Dave that, was sick. Man. That was yeah. the time, was dude. Where, uh, how do you guys balance that with the amount of shows that are in the Barstool Network? To some degree, even if you don't even know the other show, you are kind of responsible for what they say to the public because oh, you're I under the flag that they're under and they said know, something though. crazy. When you, when you look at like ESPN or whoever else, like a bigger company, mm -hmm. do you think of every show as like responsible for the other? 
No, but they're like, are you, so. Is, is someone else at ESPN responsible when Skip Bayless says some dumb shit? No, no, but that's it's a kinda... little different, I think, with barstool and podcasting in general because we talk unfiltered more than, say, mm-hmm. someone on an ESPN or any mm-hmm. type of communication company. So yeah, they're they're PC for the most part. Every now and then you get Skip saying some wild shit, but Skip saying wild shit is not much compared to the stuff we say in podcasting. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when you have yeah. a big network, it it gets like I watched Gillian Wallow have to give that response because they are, in fact, even though they didn't say it, part. He was he was standing under up the for flag. Angela Reese. <laughs> Angela Reese. I, still don't know who Angela. I was like, maybe we shouldn't even put out the statement if we don't know names yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we need to work on that. I mean, I get it. I mean, I'm I, I met Dave and, and and Big Cat. They're cool guys, and and I know how the internet is when when shit like that happens, especially coming from a white guy. Yeah, but if it was a a black guy do, calling a white female athlete a classless piece of shit, I don't know if it would have stung as much. But I get it. I know yeah. why it stung, and yeah. um, you know, I saw the backlash and I understood it. But I think Dave just he just he he, he lives in his own world, and sometimes he tips toes into the real world. And he's like, oh shit! And he closes the door and he kind of just yeah. disappears for a minute. I like, mean, it, it, it's been a long fucking time of doing it. Like yeah. he's been there, you know. I guess over early 2000s yeah but he um i mean i've gone like head to head with him and and probably disagreed with him the most out of anybody yeah so when when people are like we were just arguing the other day about the the popcorn on the plane Uh uh-huh that whole thing he's talking about we need (laughs) if babies are crying on planes they should be thrown out with parachutes that's Dave's take. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I got kids. And so I'm always like, no, you got to understand as a parent, it's different. So I've been, I mean, me and Dave have been, you know, arguing more than fucking anybody on the internet. So, yeah. I mean, that's what's cool about here at Barstool is like, you can say yeah. whatever you want to him. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's really like no repercussions of it. I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have said it. Mm. I also know, again, I, I do think intent matters uh, to some extent. Sure. Yeah. I think beyond it, it's like your can, intentions can be good and you're going to get called. He, he does this a lot too. He'll go on um, Tucker Carlson and then get mad when people call him political. Yeah. <laughs> he, I was like, I know you're not a, really a political dude, right. but when you go on Tucker Carlson fucking it four times a month, up, right. you're going to be, you're going to get called, <clears throat> you know? So I, I think uh, it, the intent does matter uh, to some extent, but yeah, I mean, it was out of line. It was definitely, you know, just it was just it wasn't necessary. And classless was just the wrong word to me. It was like I also think the piece of shit. I'm gonna land on piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like I mean, the classless. Wasn't, that's your opinion. Classless right? was no, actually what shit was trending. Is, is, like the hashtag yeah, classless. It's and like, that happens in sports all the time. Stay classy. You're not classy. Sportsmanship is classy. It was I, that, the that's, piece of shit. That I was the like, piece of shit was like that was crazy. She's like a 19 year old girl or some shit, right? Exactly. So it was. But that's why what I mean, like. Whereas some people look at that, like Dave Mordoy was not like, I hate this 19 year old classless piece of shit girl. He was like, this thing just cost me $250,000. Yeah, that's what Whether it, it was a young black girl or an old white man or yeah. a fucking sport or a, yeah. a horse or a whatever. Yeah. He's like mad about his money. Yeah. But, you know, you get mad about your money and, and you start saying shit on the internet, there's going to be, it's going to be, gonna be a response. Black, but, yeah. I don't think he ever like thought. This this doesn't warrant a response. Like he wouldn't mm, be like, yeah. whoa, 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 why are you guys? You mm-hmm. know, he he, but he he went in. That's for certain. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was texting with Dan with Big Cat, being like, oh boy, like we're, he, he really went there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've all had our moments. But like that's that, but that's what does suck about the internet. Like everything, someone you're attached to, everything they say, you now have to answer, answer for. It. I don't, and it's like, yeah, no, I disagree with what he just said. I. I have nothing to do with that. I disagree. Right. And that's yeah, it. And that's it. <laughs> Plain and simple. We we went through it too. He interviewed Trump and people were like, you know, how can you work with this man, for this man, next to this man? And I was like, I don't know, man. Dude got, we, you got to understand, he came from, we all came from like nothing in terms of entertainment world. Like right. we were nobodies mm-hmm. and he's worked up to his position to get invited to the White House, whether or not you like the president or whatever, that's some crazy shit that right. you got to be, you know, I I think most people wouldn't turn that down, right? right? And then people are asking me, like, what do I think about it? And what I'm like, I don't know. I don't like the guy. I wouldn't, I don't know what I would have done in that situation, but also I'm, he did it, not me. Mm, so right. fucking deal with him, yeah, you know? Yeah. I, I think we got big enough to a point where it is separate. You yeah. know, I think we will always be lumped together more. But I think we all kind of speak for ourselves, at least the uh, 
more, you know, the people have been around for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of the younger people and new people will get lumped together. I, I don't think I, I never considered that I had to say anything about that. I don't think anyone ever was like, what do you say about that? Mm-hmm. The day that I have to comment on women's college basketball is not. Like I, I don't really watch basketball. It's not a day you're looking forward to. So, <laughs> that's, not, that's not your. I, I did watch the game, but yeah. I was like, I don't. I don't think I tweeted about it. I was just watching a basketball. I mean, game. the women's final was a lot more entertaining than the men's. Bro, final. I, I turned off the men's final. Yeah. Yeah. I watched the women's final. Dude, college basketball to me, unfortunately, was the one, the first thing in sports that I stopped watching. Like when I was younger, to me, the first couple days of the tournament and that first weekend. Greatest days in sports. I would take off of work or sneak out of work. We'd throw parties at Barstool when I was here. Open bar, the whole nine. And yeah. you know, I would uh, I I know the top twenty five. I know every star, all that shit. And then just like as you get older and more responsibilities, and then I had kids and shit. Like the first thing to go was as far as sports was March Madness. And like like I, to tell you, like I couldn't tell you a fucking single thing about college basketball this year. But but I, I'm with you on that because I feel the same way now. But I think it's because just the talent level is just not. Is that what it? I couldn't tell it's if it's me it or or yeah, nah. These, the, these these young kids now because they you know everything is social media, and a lot of them you know with the whole nil deals and they, yeah. you know they they feel like they're these uh the top athletes when it's like no you just have a social media following yeah yeah you're really yeah, yeah, not yeah, yeah. that good though. right right you know what i mean so i think that the talent level is just not what it used to i be. remember even feeling like zion was a weird case because zion was like the second coming yeah and we saw all the highlights of him in high school mm-hmm. and then then he you know he balled out at duke and, and i'm not saying he's like a bust by any means but he was kind of touted as like yeah. the next i mean i remember the, the knicks being in the lottery it was like when mm-hmm. you get zion yeah mm-hmm. and it's like if you had gotten Zion, where would you be? Probably like in the same spot, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that was like a lot of hype behind it. So, mm-hmm. But he was more exciting than he was talented as yeah. far as basketball. Right, like, right, he right. Was Physically, an explosive he was just player. so much better than But I do everybody. remember watching those high school highlights being like, are we really fucking jacked up that he's dunking over like a five foot four <laughs> sophomore, like yeah. skinny white yeah. kid? He's dunking exactly. over me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, uh, That's what it it's, is. There's more... We were just talking about it. Maybe you know. Is Bron is Bronny Jr. a legit talent? Like he's legit. Like like will deserve to be in the NBA if his father wasn't LeBron, or is going to get a look because of LeBron? I his, say McDonald's his, game. Let's start there. His, his, his the NBA. Yeah, yeah right. right. Ways being, to go. His dad being who he is, uh, definitely uh, put a lot of pressure on him. It uh, you know, it, it put a lot of light and attention on him. But I think that he's put in the work and he's gotten a lot better as a. I mean, I've definitely heard player. and seen more highlights and shit. But I'm yeah, not, he's he's I'm he's, he's, a, he's top twenty in his play. class. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. He's top so then you are legit. Sure. Yeah. No, he's he's legit. It's it's he's not what his dad was, obviously. Yeah. But he's 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 working it himself into his his own path. Like you know, this is who I am. Uh, I know being Bronny Bronny James Jr. is tough because that, you have the name. <sighs> Remember LeBron being like. What did he say? He was like, I don't want like pressure on my kids or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. He named him. Yeah. LeBron Jr. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's tough, but yeah. I put mean, him in he, Space Jam. That, <laughs> definitely. That was one of my, my favorite tweets when he first said that was uh he it, it was it was uh it was when he was very young. It was just crazy just to think like I know what Bronny James looks like playing basketball at like from a middle a, from school. A child. Level. Yeah, yeah. And it was I, I think he said something like Bronny didn't wear six. Maybe whatever number yeah. LeBron was wearing at the time. Yes, that's yeah. this is where LeBron came up. didn't wear that number because he didn't want to be confused Compared for his dad. Yeah. 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 And someone had a tweet where it was a picture of like middle school Brownie, and it's like, and now coming into the game, number nine, yeah. LeBron James oh, yeah. Jr. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey man, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> that's a coincidence, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 It's a common <laughs> name. And, and he's what? Uh, how old mm. is he now? He's 17, 18. Yeah, so, he'll, 18, 18. so he'll still have senior year. He, he just finished like three, senior four. Year. Oh, he just finished senior year. So yeah. he's going to college or yeah. will he be going to college? college? Yeah. So he's got like two more years before he can be a pro? Well, he can leave after his first year. First year, yeah. You only have to be out of high school one right. year now. Right, right, right. But I, we, think I was just watching a clip of uh, Ken Griffey Sr. talking about because he and Junior played next to each other. Yeah. I think that's got to be the coolest thing. In the world that you can do. Oh, that's yeah. O'Brien play with you now. He just wants to play boy. with Bronny. Yeah, like, yeah. That's that's what it's about now. And it, it was a clip of uh, so Ken Griffey Senior was in left, Junior's in right uh, center. Yeah. And a uh, fly ball, and Ken Griffey Junior swoops in and like snatches it from his dad. Yeah. And he's laughing, and they get to the dugout, 
and he go he he took the car keys from him and grounded him. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like he, it was his. I think I think Ken Griffey played when he was like eighteen or nineteen. Yeah. so it was still like your teenage son. And yeah, he was like you're fucking grounded. Yeah. Give me the keys, <laughs> but you're also in the same lineup. That's it's, such a that's I mean, such a, an amazing thing, man. That has to be. An it's amazing gotta thing. be. Uh, you you have to feel like you just like conquered the you world won life as a father. Yeah, you yeah, won like life. I did it all. Yeah, like, you won perfectly, life for you know? sure. So Absolutely. you're saying Michael Jordan's. Is failed as a father. That's yeah. so what you're saying. He's an awful father. Where did Mar Marcus played at UCF? Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He played somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he, he, played, he was all right. He wasn't, he Nike, wasn't too right? bad. Yeah. Yeah. He was doing something with the sneakers. Yeah. 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 Now he's fucking yeah. Larson. I was gonna yeah. say he's not. Yeah. He's not yeah. Exactly Never, I take it back. Either. No, no, he's yeah. doing fine. I don't think that got enough attention. We all talked about it. We talk about it every episode because we can't understand why the world doesn't find that crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like that should be. We should wake up in the morning and all go. Michael Jordan's son fucks Scotty Pippen's. Ex white yeah. like that is it's insane. Uh, it's it's like a Jerry Springer headline from the nineties yeah, that we just kind of go like, oh okay, yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's it's, fucking nuts. It's, it's, it's wild. There like, are there are like so many like I was actually doing this recently with my dad. I was talking about how the draft is dumb, and he's like, well, how else would you do it? I was like, we just like, apply to the real world. Like you're the number one tech guy. You can't go work at Google. You have to go work at this dog shit company. Right, because they said so first. Right. They, yeah, uh, yeah. Google's got too many good guys. You have to go work at this dog shit company. And if you applied that to the real world, if you're just at the dinner table with your dad and you're like sitting there with your girlfriend and it's his co-worker's ex-wife. Ex-wife. You'd be like, what? This is fucked. Yeah. Like, what are we doing here, son? <laughs> like, this is insane, dude. And that's just Me and worker. Steve used to do work together in accounting. Like, and, 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 like very famously. We were the best. Me and Steve like ran the company. We were amazing. Well, it also and you're cool with her kids as like your fake cousins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right, right. And I think it depends on the relationship between the, the, the dads Scotty? though yeah. yeah yeah like what Which is we that know like? is mm, it's, so, it's best, a little shaky you know? yeah so it's kind of like but everybody is mike looking mike at his son that. like <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. 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 <laughs> i wonder if mike said like go do it yeah, <laughs> yeah. like definitely go do it you know like, like scotty got a personal little, yeah. scotty got a little, yeah. got a little hey, mouthy after the last dance yeah don't fuck his wife i'm still competitive and larsa larsa it's also like and i'm not saying larsa has anything but in our talk with dennis rodman the '90s Bulls, you can imagine, were throwing it around. You guys ever talked to him, Dennis, Dennis Robin? No, no. Dude, Robin I'm... said they used to have practice, and then they he would was rent hotels boy. after practice, and they would show up and just take women and their husbands back to rooms to fuck them while their husbands watched. I believe that was. What I think I that was more specifically the worm. I don't know if it was the other players. <laughs> yeah, that's there, right. were, there, were, there were couples that were like, "We want you to fuck." You don't think yeah. Steve Kerr was in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think Luke got any action. Yeah, Luke didn't get any Bill action. Bill Wellington and Luke out here. <laughs> yeah, like, no, but no. you're like, I know Scotty was fucking some strange. De and Dennis Rodman is... He's lived a life. Oh, bro, he broke his dick three times. Not once, not twice. He broke it three times, including a time where I think the third and final, he uh, sat like on a ch chair and a girl ran across the room and jumped trying to like land it in at that point you're bored and you've had too much yeah. you're, trying, you're, trying, <laughs> yeah. you're just trying shit that, that, that's, 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 that's how you that's become also... our only diplomat with North Korea <laughs> you're done sex is done you've completed you've hit the final save the world one, by let the me go to North Korea another story that I mm -hmm. thought like people kind of glossed over it was just like Dennis Rodman <laughs> is like hanging out with a fucking uh, mass murder genocidal dictator maniac and everyone's kind of like <laughs> Yeah. It's rotten. It's funny. It's, it's, it's just rotten. the worm. Dude, it's like, what? But the fact that he's a big fan of Dennis is just weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He really loved this guy. Dude, he loved him. I mean, you know, everybody, the, the Bulls had like a special spot in a lot of people's lives. Oh, yeah, for sure. For he, sure. Dude, Dennis lived a life, dude. I mean, he was... He was washing. He was cleaning toilets in an airport. Yeah, and then he grew a by choice though. Foot. Like, but he was he, he was wasn't like, working there. He was just that was his <laughs> <time>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's passing yeah. the time. He was something like five ten. Yeah. Like late in life, and mm -hmm. then he grew a foot, mm -hmm. and people were like, "Oh, you could play ball now." Yeah, I mean, he was he was on the path of like I was just going to be a janitor and like a drug addict, and then gets to be you know win what five titles, six mm -hmm. or whatever it was. No, no, like, no like, wonder you if you think about that with people with like god complexes, and I don't know that Dennis Hartman has one. He must have like a some kind of complex. The world has his own. <laughs> he's got kind of a god complex actually because. Excuse me. When we had him on, this is we're at our old office where like the elevator opened right into the office. Yeah. And his people, who were like seventeen-year-old kids, oh, this was like, crazy. Like they came up first, 
And they're like, guys, to the whole office. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like not this where, like, everyone's kind of in their own thing. I want to know what you would think if this happened. You uh, you, <laughs> you specifically. This is a crazy <laughs> thing to ask. They, they're, his, his people, again, like, like, they were, like, children, like, really young. And they came up, and they were like, so Dennis is about to come up. Uh, one thing, when Dennis enters a room, and again, the elevator opens into the room, so yeah. everyone's there. When Dennis enters a room, uh, we do like to make sure everyone stands and bows first, uh, and then, <laughs> and so just, you know, when the doors open, be ready for that. Everybody bow. And and then they left and went to get Rodman, and everyone's kind of like, are we are we gonna do this? <laughs> and like, like, because like they didn't even stay to say, like say it was a they, joke they or not a joke. It, they said it like with such confidence that every place they've gone, everybody bows, no question. Yeah, and like, none I'm of us bowing to fucking I'm not anybody. Bowing. I'm not bowing to fuck no out person. It wasn't know, even I, like, like I, I might I, do it now. I'll bow to anybody. I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? I'm like I'm bowing. You're ready to bow? I, I don't fucking give a shit, dude. Like, like, who am I? I'm above <laughs> to bow to Dennis Rodman. Like, I'll bow to Dennis Rodman. I just didn't know if he was serious or not. <laughs> and, yeah. Did we do karate after? Like, I'm, I'm with whatever. <laughs> and, and so, so no one bowed. And then when he left, his people stayed around again. They were like. Just so you know, Dennis is very disappointed. Nobody died. <laughs> We're like, okay, so it was serious. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, the fuck? And then yeah, when the man. interview started, he was already in the studio, already sitting at a microphone when we walked in. Yeah. So the interview started. We sit. Not even started. We sat down, got ready for the interview, and he just goes. Okay, he thinks he's off air. He just goes. You guys ever watch a horse fuck a woman? <laughs> we were like, this no. is the man I was supposed to just bow to. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not bowing he, to you. He was, I was like, Dennis, is that something you? you know do all, like frequently mm. and he was i think he said like not frequently but like i know all the spots you can go and i'm thinking like thailand and mexico whatever he was like madison Pacific avenue yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. 20, all 27 and 6 he's like, <laughs> Port- i'll get you a horse fucking a woman by 2 p.m yeah. it was it I was feel like you guys I are kink shaming it <laughs> feels like a kink shame that's sick yeah. you just have that information and you like and i mean you know how he talks and looks too it was just like it was it was everything I wanted. If Dennis Rodman came he's in, one, and was just he's like, one guy that I want to meet, though. Like that's one of the, the like people. I'm like, I gotta meet Dennis. Dude, yeah, I mean, we we talked for I don't even know how long, and we could have gone for ten hours more because it was just like there's a million questions you could ask that dude yeah. from yeah. fucking on the court to off the court, to yeah. North Korea, to yeah. all that shit is fucking. He's an who who is like a. I mean, I guess, you know, I've been on your show before. You guys do kind of more of like a co-host thing than like an interview guest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But do you have like a bucket list or, a, you know, a, a one person you'd want on your show? I mean, the, the Larry David one, especially spe- speaking of bows, yeah. shit bows, if yeah. perfect, <laughs> would be incredible only in my mind, though. I, I, if yeah, he, yeah. If he oh. would have agreed to come on our podcast, which I know he wouldn't, I still might be like reluctant, like, eh. You don't want to like like I, that's almost best left to the like don't meet your heroes yeah. type yeah. of thing and yeah. why if it I love goes him. badly. Ugh. But see, I think he I think he's uh as long as you're okay with him being exactly him. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's I think he is that like that's his character. I remember reading an article, an interview with his girlfriend who that another thing that flies on the radar that Larry David dates like a like a late twenty. She might be an I was early. Say, 30s I didn't even now. know he had a girl. She was like a thirty two year old volleyball player, rocket launcher. I mean, and <laughs> rocket launcher. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> LD like throwing down in the bedroom? And, and I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've never I've never had that thought once yeah. in my life. Nobody's ever thought Larry <laughs> David's like competed, stroking it. He yeah. competed oh, with uh, Rosie O'Donnell for the bisexual. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he took a Viagra. But it, he got an all time episode. <laughs> But the uh, this is an interview, and I don't know if they're still together. This is a while back. Um, I see this. Shit. And she was, uh, they were. I just asked her like, "What's it like being with Larry?" And she's like, "It's exactly like you think. It's the best because like we'll be at dinner, and he'll just get up and go, I'm done, and walk out. <laughs> like I like, like a big dinner, and he'll be like, I'm out of here. I'll see. You I like later. that. Yeah, I like she, that. And she's like, it's the best because I get to. I'm not an asshole, right? Because Larry's leaving, I have to go with him, right? She's like, but I'm done with dinner too. Yeah, yeah I don't want to be there anymore. I love that. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm done. I'm out. Just get up. Oh, that's how we did the interview. He, he got married 20, oh, he get in married? 2020. Unless he, unless oh, that's probably her. Yeah, he's 73. Got married at 73. That is fucking that's a life. crazy yeah. move. That's he's, he put himself in the perfect position as far as people approaching him or the things he can just say and do. And yeah, yeah. Because everyone's like, oh, no wrong. oh, look at Larry being Larry. That's it's Larry so cool Larry. to see him be an asshole. <laughs> Bro, I said that, uh, you know, when he, Manny being Manny with Manny Ramirez became a thing. Yeah. I think the greatest thing you can achieve in life, more so than money, fame, power, 
is that free pass. Mm -hmm. If it's just like, oh, that's just Maul being Maul. That's just Rory mm -hmm. being Rory. It, and you can just do and say, wear whatever you want, dress however you want, say at any time. And they just go, ah. Yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. being him. Yeah, but, and they don't. You don't get held to the same standards, people. Yeah, we had we that's, had. That's his, where uh, Kramer got way too into character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He the yeah. Same he took thing. it a little too far. <laughs> I would want to. I would want to kick it with Adam Sandler. That, so that's an, I was about to say perfect example. Of him yeah. shows up to you know an award show in basketball shorts and a hoodie and says ah it's Adam. You know? <laughs> yeah. He is a. I think even as much as we like as a society love that dude, kind of underrated when you think like I think he's upwards of like five hundred million dollars, like no, four hundred million he's, range, like big but money. That's why I like he figured it out. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm gonna Happy. just do what I want to do, create what I want, and just live like he does it. My friends will be the cast every yeah, time. Every yeah. time doesn't yeah. need to doesn't need doesn't to change. Doesn't matter how like, good they are or bad <laughs> yeah. they are. We're all just boys hanging yeah. out every single year, every, every single decade for seven years. Adam Sandler will do a not great. Rob movie with, uh, sure. where yeah. he's Jennifer Anderson's husband in the Bahamas. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then every once time. every eight years, he'll do an uncut gems and be like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm fucking awesome at this. Flex yeah. I'm just yeah. choosing not to do the ones you like. I'm doing right. the ones I like. I'm doing yeah. This was a passion project. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm good gems and the basketball one where those that were one was great. I, yeah. I watched that I, on was a, those yeah. the basketball Netflix. one wasn't bad at all. Yeah. I, no, I like that one. This is going to sound crazy. I preferred that over Uncut Gems. Dude, Uncut, Uncut Gems, Gems I've still only seen once. Yeah, me too. Because it gave me too much stress, too much anxiety. I, I thought was it was like, great, but it was one uh, of those movies where you're like, Jesus Christ, dude. It's like Call Me Dead Zealot. Yeah. Delight. I was like, I can't see yeah, that you can't, again. Dude. Can't watch it on an Adderall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's <laughs> it like too much. I watched I watched Flight with a Hangover, and I was just like, it was the most. Oh, he was stress. a character. You trying to like? <laughs> yeah, I, it was the most stress I've ever been in my entire life. Yeah. I was like, dude, um, just stop, just stop. We almost mm. had Adam Sandler kind of on our podcast. No, I think we have the audio that we. That was just happened to be recording at the time. We were at Nobu Malibu, right? Yeah. Nobu Malibu. Interviewing Logic, like on the fucking private. Yeah, the private room in the balcony back. that overlooks the ocean. It was it was actually a really great pod. And we're setting up and you just hear the most iconic laugh. Like there's yeah. no way that's anyone but Adam Sandler. Right, Turn yeah. around, he's in Nobu Malibu in basketball shorts past his knees. The <laughs> old school shorts, so like the Fab Five. <laughs> yeah, man, those old eyes with the fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. T-shirt, sneakers. Yeah. Turn around, yeah. see him like Adam. He's like, yeah. just a thumbs up. Just see <laughs> see what yeah. you guys are doing. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, this, he's living that podcast life. with Logic mm. featuring Adam. Sandler. Exactly, <laughs> he's living life. The, and it, it was one of those starstruck moments where rarely happen when you literally like at a loss of words of yeah. just in aura of a human being being there like, yeah that's not because he Sandler. also like he's not he's in the spotlight because he does do a movie every year it's not like he's gone but you rarely see him out you otherwise him. and when you do he's always just like or when he presents at an award show he's just like you a see him at a random funny. park in california hooping yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and well yeah and it's yeah, like, yeah, hey, like is that really long. him no like yeah. you know like, he's moved into that part of life where it's like yeah. is that really him yeah like, no, no that's him just, there's a i saw a video a few times because I'm, I'm from boston and i'm from massachusetts and uh I, just, you know, I follow a lot of boston sports sports stuff like that and i've seen tons of people reposting a tatum pass from last night mm -hmm. and it's like tatum was behind three point line whatever kind of like i don't know if it was no look whatever zooms across the court and I was like, I've seen Adam Sandler do that 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> Not even in I was like, what a pass from Tatum. Yeah, I was like, yeah, Sandman yeah. crushes yeah. that. <laughs> Sandman's court vision second to none, dude. No, he could really play, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, really, he yeah. fucks around and gets a triple-double. Yeah, oh, yeah. He averages Every a triple-double in the park. <laughs> so you're from Boston. So bigger, bigger, bigger movie from a guy from Boston, Departed or The Town? Fuck. This is That's a great question. It's a good, great question. It's going to be a shitty answer. I think they're both okay. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, yeah. really? I think they're both. That's like, blasphemy, dude. I think you can't go home ever again. I now. think they both. I actually think I like the town better. Um, but I think if you're trying both, to capture like Boston, like The Departed could be could happen in other cities. I feel like you know what I mean. The yeah. town you need like the town the Boston, Boston. Yeah, towns, yeah. You know the. Bo I, I do think I think the town's better, and also, but like I'm a bad judge because I like like kind of. Meh action movies like John Gerard Butler's fucking... my guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, that's, he that's likes trash the... movies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Love it. Yeah. Um. So, so you love Delta Force from the eighties with Nick, uh, Chuck Norris? No, they, they're they're not. The eighties are too bad. Eighties like, had like, some of the worst movies yeah, ever. Yeah. ever. I like, Bro, like, you go I back like, and watch some of those ones fucking, that you thought as a kid. Robocop were, oh is, might be the worst movie. Yo, <laughs> that specifically. <laughs> Robocop looks Cop like trash. Oh the effects are terrible. It's the, terrible. the plot doesn't make it's sense. Bad. It's so bad. I, I like like the late nineties, like 
Tears of uh, Tears of the Fall and stuff. Was it the Blue Jewels one? So Don't look at me. Steven, those movies Steven suck. Steven Seagal is probably like your favorite combat. No, no, see, too bad as well. Too, like, <laughs> it's I, a fine line late for John. Late nineties, early two thousands, like those if, uh, late nineties, early two thousands. Tears of the Fall and what? Tears, even... Tears of the Sun. I think it is Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Oh, that yeah. was a good movie. Yeah, that's a good movie. Good movie. No, it's, it's not. Yeah. You didn't like Tears of the Sun? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> that's I, a good I, movie. I, like, it's, it might be an entertaining movie. It's not a good movie. That's, that's what I like. I don't like bad movies. I like entertaining. Okay. Um. And so I, I like like a, like a Saturday afternoon TNT movie, like Shooter with Wahlberg. Oh, that's okay. Phenomenal. That, that's right there. And The Town is more of that than The Departed is. I like. I really can't think of The Departed without laughing. And it is, it's a fucking good movie. It's a great movie. Yeah. Like, Where does I it like, lose you, though? The Rat. The Rat is so the very laughable. End, the, the Rat it's running like, over the fucking... Yeah, yeah they, 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 they hit you over the head with that it's, one. So yeah. after a four-hour movie, yeah. it's the last 15 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> that loses yeah. it away. Like, I'm done with this. Yeah. No, the movie's over. Yeah. Yeah. No, you just watched four hours. I, I also... I think, I think part of that is being from Massachusetts. And, and there was that run where, like, just every movie made was in Boston. And and because it's all in Boston, everyone from Boston is like, it's the best movie ever. Yeah. And I think when I'm being surrounded by that by a decade, yeah. I'm a bit of a contrarian where I start to be like, all right, let's fucking relax. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, John, John's the way to describe John's movie taste or movie fandom is uh, he was he was crying to the movie Miracle with his girlfriend. And well, that okay. that would just ruin. When, when ru- they play uh, <laughs> football outside in Christmas in the snow, <laughs> yeah. just for America, family. I might have shed a tear. <laughs> Herb, we're a family. <laughs> she, she was laying on his chest in an awful Boston to, accent too. Trying to, trying to keep it in. Yeah. Yeah. She broke over him a week later. It was over. You can't cry in front of a girl. <laughs> I can't. I can't. That, it is. Uh, the, he's a hockey guy too. Oh, he might be. We had Cam run in a couple days ago. Uh-huh. And uh big hockey guy. At the, at the very end, he's like, Before we let you go, Cam, what do you think you think the Bruins are gonna get it done? Best regular season of all time. Are they gonna win the cup? And obviously, you know, Cam was like, I don't know. And they start joking around. And then it kind of got serious about John being like the hockey correspondent for their new show. It is what oh, it is. Because like, he was like, like, he's like people have been asking him, like, what are we gonna do about hockey? And I was like, I was obviously very joking. I'm like, I'll be your hockey correspondent. He's like, no, no, I want to do that. He was like, yo, take this guy's number down. We're going to do it. They still have not contacted that. That would be, <laughs> be funny, though. That's some funny shit. <laughs> yeah. That would be hilarious. Are you, have you had him on before? you done anything with Cam? No. No, Cam, Cam said in a freestyle, uh, I'm only doing a podcast for Gillian Wallow. Other than that, it's $175,000 to book me. And then, oh, all right. And then Maul and I were like, eh, let's delete that email. Yeah. <laughs> How do you delete unsend that email a text? Yeah. I don't think I can afford him. Yeah. yeah. I guess we, we, it was we our skipped bu- the fee. It was I our guess. budget for the year. <laughs> <laughs> no, now you owe him a whole new show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You're in debt yeah. to him forever now. I love what him and Macy doing, though. Huh? I love what Dude, I mean, it's, it's yeah. very funny. It's yeah. like, it's a good take on that whole you know, the ESPN whole, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, part of my take did it, obviously, so, satirizing it, but yeah. the way they do it is... It's funny. Yeah, they're I good like at it. that, yeah. I just, at, looking at that, I just hate the fact that we they, they they robbed us. Him and Mace robbed us of some great music, man. I wish they could have, like, mended their relationship. Really, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize... Because seeing I the chemistry they, between them is, is amazing. I thought they got... I thought they smoothed things over, like, a couple of years ago. And he was saying it was just August. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, like, I thought it was Ronnie and Sam from the Jersey Shore. Yeah, <laughs> never, always some days back and they're forth. Great, other yeah, days they're yeah, not. I could definitely see that being the case yeah. with those two. <laughs> um, speaking of movies and Cam, though, are you a Peyton Full fan? I am not a killer season guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, you got to watch it. It's like I the was... black version of Departed. Oh. <laughs> well, you're, someone... you're joking, uh-huh. but Peyton but Ford is the black yeah. version of Departed. Yeah, it really is. One is in Harlem, one is in Boston. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same shit. And then in killer season, he pisses on a girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, a ch- like a child. Have you ever seen an actual baby? It, the, uh, he, he found the video of him in Walgreens with a, uh, a chick. Sticking shit between her ass cheeks. Have you ever seen that? Cam was like vlogging and on social media like True. early, right? Yeah. Oh, and he went through he went through a Walgreens with this girl, and she was putting like water bottles and bottles of mayonnaise like in between her ass cheeks, like stealing shit from the store. Yeah, and it is the funniest fucking not video stealing. Ever. Camera makes not it stealing, in, but in like, the video camera, I was like, we're gonna pay for it. We're gonna pay for it. <laughs> she's just, she just carrying it. Yeah, <laughs> she just didn't put it back on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. Imagine yeah, like, mayonnaise. Some, yeah, actually, at one point, she does it. She like takes like a co- uh, Pepsi bottle. And she like shoves it between her cheeks and she goes and she runs and she starts like twerking and like I don't know how it stays. It's yeah. it's crazy because like <laughs> defy gravity. In, 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 in twer- like she's getting down like, like she full full down and like somehow it's staying in there. And then she walks back to like the cashier and puts it down. 
And and from that point on, my attention was just on the bottle. I was like, what's he going to do with that? Because <laughs> she, she's clearly not wearing underwear. Like, she, she makes that no, clearly. That, is, yeah. and, that bottle's slippery. He's yeah. like, ah, shit. And, and he actually, he, he gets a gun and he kind of holds like that. And I was like, she, she's a very pretty woman. Like, yeah. I, I thought yeah. I was very like, talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I think Cameron did say she was a stripper, or maybe he yeah. Said, like, I think he, I think she yeah, was. yeah. He was like, <laughs> I think it's safe. I'm to say. Like, Who's sure. that girl? He's like, he's like, man, I'm those a measurements and those skills. Yeah. Yeah, she's not an attorney. Yeah, oh, yeah. But My brain the, um, would go in a different place and just sit there and wonder if Cam was going to put in like his Dwayne Reed number. Yeah. Like, I, wonder, I wonder if he gets reward I points. points. I get my points on that. Five dollars off the mayonnaise in her ass. He was a funny dude. He was he was really genuinely nice too. He was very very like gracious. Cool. He was a man. Yeah, yeah he, Cam was, was, he was super cool. What was the other? Was it State Property? Was the Rockefeller movie? Yeah, State Property. I don't yeah. think I ever saw couple. that one, but I remember he was that. A, being he was a, in State Property too. Yeah, because the dip, <laughs> yeah. dip, dip, dip set was in State Property. They, there too. was a run of some of those movies that was like hip hop getting into the movies was a fun era. It Were was you so in, fun, man. <laughs> I'm not even joking around, Mo. Were you in it? In any of those? No. No state, no. like not in the background. I know, like Wayno was an extra. In one yeah, of them. nah, nah. I never, I never. <laughs> All did back in like ninety eight or some nah, shit. Nah, 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 in the background. Never, never, never went to sets and nah. see, the, see what the craft table I was stay, looking like. I stayed far away from those sets. Man. Nah. <laughs> Have you guys seen this uh, this show, Jury Duty? That's on Amazon right now. No, it's mm -hmm. like a uh, it's just like this reality TV show, social experiment sort of thing, where it's a whole, it's a f entirely fake, fabricated civil case, mm -hmm. and every. One dude thinks it's real. The rest are all actors. Mm -hmm. And it's just like they put him through the ringer of just like crazy comedic shit that's just like wild. And this dude is – and they're and the, the the whole setup was we're making a documentary about jury duty. Mm -hmm. So they have him on camera saying all this shit and he's just like – like he's just going through the craziness of it all. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we, we interviewed him and yesterday we did it through Zoom. And, uh, and he's this really nice kind of goofy guy and video pops up and he's got a big G-Unit shirt on. And I was just like, oh, I, and never in a million years did I think I was going to see this dude rocking G unit. He was like, yeah, man, I got a rep. I was like, rep what? what? <laughs> I got to rep the set. <laughs> Can you imagine if that wasn't Whoa. fake and you were fighting for your life in court and the guy that's going to decide your innocence was wearing a G unit? Yeah. <laughs> How just take this? me now. <laughs> the, the, was the, the other tweet though? Like, dude, this is my lawyer. I'm going to jail. Yeah, right? definitely well, going to jail. The, this is my latest, foreman. The, um, in the the young thug Rico case, that yeah. lawyer is saying cap the other day. You see that? Oh yeah, he told I don't the know judge. if that was it was or just someone in. Yeah, there's. The I mean, Rico. have you seen the like the, in the courtroom? There's like 500 dudes. All, all whoever's set up. attorney that was is done. And then <laughs> yo, the, uh, like a, a court reporter, uh, like caught him afterwards and was doing like a social media video. And was like, explain to the the, the the people out there what's the the legal definition of cap. And this dude's like still definition. leaning into it. Like he wasn't yeah. like, oh my god, I can't believe I fucking no. said cap in court. He no. was proud of it. And then there's another one I just saw today. He got hit with a he's gotta do a twenty a seventeen page paper on the the importance of professionalism in the courtroom because he was just like being a dickhead and and not being like respectful of the other lawyers. Just hold me in contempt. And I'll do the thirty. So the, days. Yeah. No, not right. So seventeen. It's, page if he paper. doesn't do a seventeen page paper, he gets twenty days in jail. Oh, give me the twenty. Days. And he, oh, yeah. he goes, <laughs> do some push ups. He was, <laughs> he was like, "Your Honor, um, can I give you two hundred and fifty dollars?" <laughs> and and originally the 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 offer was a thousand dollars, like fine, mm. or you got to do this paper. And I guess he was being an asshole. Said like, oh, "I'm not paying you." And then the judge was like, "How are you doing on your essay?" He said, "It's got to be work cited. It's got to be uh, like oh, Harvard no. Business School level, Dude. whatever." And the guy goes, "I'd rather give you two hundred and fifty dollars." And the judge goes, "I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you'd rather give me a, a two hundred fifty dollars than a seventeen page paper." I'll do three weeks in jail. Twenty, <laughs> 20 days during Ramadan. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I'm mad calm right now. Yeah. <laughs> give no. me the Yo, time. That, that yeah. case is a circus. They, yeah. we're on three months of. They're just picking. The jury they haven't yeah. even gotten to that yet yeah. i mean not to say that lawyers doing that but so many lawyers in those cases do try to find their viral moments because mm. they know they're going to yeah. lose the case let's you make it as well that cap shit is going to go crazy his mm -hmm. name is going to be there next time somebody gets arrested it's like oh let me i know go that find name. the guy yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, even though that's the last guy you really want but it's the name <laughs> yeah. you know whatever it is cool we were just talking about uh i just watched this movie came out a while ago but richard jewell oh and, yeah and his lawyer was just like he was a real estate lawyer, but he's the only lawyer whose number he knew. Right. Yeah, and the lawyer had, had no like, business. I don't know how to do he was this. showing up to work every day in sandals. No one was hiring him, mm -hmm. and his his uh, secretary, who they weirdly reveal at the end of the movie, is like his wife. 
Like the whole movie just seems like it's his secretary. And uh, she's like, oh, fine. Like, we'll just find another major case for you to go. He's like, fine. I guess I'll do it. And then. I don't know how to fucking I, like, I feel like it's your responsibility to tell the guy, by the way, I do real estate law. Like, <laughs> fight you're being tried for, me like, for terrorism, <laughs> tried domestic for terrorism. terrorism. Yeah. Like, and I do real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an escrow? Like, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you close on your mortgage. Yeah. I can't yeah. you know this, right? I, I, the greatest movie that? lawyer ever is my cousin Vinny. It's a great one. By far. I like uh, uh, McConaughey in A Time to Kill. Yeah. It's a great moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little more serious. Yeah, that was, that's, yeah, I would say that's Mike. like, that's <laughs> why it's different. Yeah. Uh, he's always wet. That's what I like in my so, lawyer. Well, he's, he's, hot. Always... he's hot down in those, whatever, whatever state that was. He was he down in the Bible Belt. <laughs> Underrated yeah. lawyer, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and The Judge. Bro! Great movie. Great. Great. Yeah. Right, we're we're yeah, finding some synergy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, didn't agree with the party, but the judge. Dude, dude the, you, I actually rewatched that fairly recently. And um, if you haven't seen the movie, it's uh, Robert Downey Jr. Robert Duvall is his dad. Tired judge killed somebody. And um, now I remember that, yeah. his brother, they, he goes home to go represent his father and help his father out. And his, uh, I don't know how... They really define it, but he clearly has some kind of special needs. His brother steps out onto the porch. Mm. Kendall Roy, yeah, uh, Jer- Jeremy Strong. Wow, I was like, I've Strong. never seen him in anything. Other Me neither. Than that, I was like, is that? You know what's yeah. the, the wildest part about the judge? And spoiler alert: at the end, at some point, he makes out with who he thinks is his daughter. He goes back to the small town. On purpose? His, no. <laughs> <laughs> goes back to like his small town he grew up in and meets a girl at the bar makes out with her she's like fucking 22 and he's 40 then meets his ex-girlfriend finds out that's his daughter finds out in the end it's not but it's actually his brother's kid and he's totally fine that he made out with his niece though <laughs> oh it's not my it's not my daughter so we're like, good yeah. there's like a sigh of relief at the movie he was like okay so she's not my daughter and it's like but she's still, still your, your niece, niece. Yeah, like, <laughs> still disgusting yeah. to it's me that was great, way bro. crazier than the rat running at the end like why is he okay with making out with his niece though dude you know what we talk about uh, movies that like we're like that didn't really mean what you think it meant where the uh, speaking of Sandman the uh, end of Fifty First Dates, where she, you know, Fifty First Dates, yeah. mm-hmm. where Drew Barrymore. Again, if you're not listening, you don't know. Cripplingly it. sad movie when you think about it. Drew yeah. Barrymore has some head injury, and every day is the same day for her. And at the end, she watches a movie of her life. Yeah, and she thinks she's still the person who's like going to buy a pineapple that day or whatever they were doing. Someone with a pineapple, and she watches this movie to catch her up on where she is. Yeah, and then she walks out on a. She, she realizes she's on a boat. Mm-hmm. And then she walks outside, With and Adam baby. Sandler's there, and she's in Alaska, and she has a baby. That's not a feel-good story. No, no. <laughs> like, no. You kidnapped a woman, fast-forwarded her 20 years, she's and- got a kid now and lives in Alaska. <laughs> By the way, they try to make Adam Sandler's character romantic in that. He- <laughs> Lock him up, yo. Man. That is that is the that's creepiest guy on earth. Yeah. That is that's that guy has that's a that's a sex crime in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. man. That's, that's like a weird, weird movie we issues, think about it. Dude. Yeah, you woke it. up, you think you that's a beautiful day in Hawaii for the yeah, it's for the seven thousandth day in a row. They, they used to make some wild movies like that. They're making a new one with um. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. She's uh Imagine that movie in the Me Too movement. <laughs> well, that's so that's what's crazy. This this movie is you know modern day shit. They the parents. There's two parents who have like a nerdy virgin high school kid, and they oh, yeah, hire Jennifer Lawrence, that. who's mm. a fucking What's hooker. What's the name of that? Yeah. Uh, did but, it come? Did it come out yet? I don't think it's. Co- yeah, it did. It did the not Red come Band out trailer came out like a couple weeks ago, whatever. And it was just like, yeah, I'll fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, do you want me to date him or date yeah, him? And the parents like, were like, date him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is that's some weird. shit that would come out in the early 2000s, not 2023. Yeah, that's I guess that's shit. a good sign. Maybe we're getting back to. But but we talked about it because it's. No, no hard, hard feelings. feelings. We talked about that because it's a sick title. Too. Yeah, <laughs> it's, levels to this shit. That's, yeah. a, that's a bar right there. <laughs> it's almost accepted that way. But if it was reversed, no, totally, yeah, it would yeah. never. That wouldn't if even you had, go to if production. You had a, a male fucking yeah, a teenage never, girl. We gotta get our daughter go, laid. Yeah, no, that would never go to production. Would never make. Pop it. my daughter's cherry. Right? Like, no, come on. I've been man. watching like but, weird. I've been like binge watching like Treehouse Masters. What is that? Like this guy, like he just goes to like different 
people's properties that want to build like a tree house on their <laughs> I property. Guess, I guess I could have guessed yeah. that. <laughs> and he's just like building Build like these elaborate, houses. like I'm talking about he's putting like full on like spas inside of the trees. Like <laughs> it's showers. And it's pimp my ride for the oak tree yeah, in the backyard. For, for <laughs> and I'm like, am I the only one that's fascinated with this thing? <laughs> oh, I can get down with a fucking dope tree house. No, it's yeah. like insane though the shit that they're doing with these tree houses. I'm about to hit this like guy you up. have to watch tree house masters. It's like insane with it. Let's doing. We'll do, we'll I'm do talking a about carpet. School. Like what, it's what like, channel? What, uh, is there what, property tax? On, on that? Uh, like, yeah. I want to say it's either on TLC or right, I'm, get, I'm gonna get a treehouse like A and E yeah. maybe uh, one of those. They'll channels. do anything. Those one of those channels that's made anything. for grandma. Like yeah. just stay home all day yeah, and watch yeah. TV. Like dude, I had, I had a treehouse in my backyard when I was a kid, and it was no. You haven't had a treehouse until you see these, these oh, treehouses. It was awful. It was like three, <laughs> like three two by fours, and that's it. That was it. It was a diving board. Yeah. And my parent, my dad, <laughs> go my to the treehouse, dad, dude. My dad had to that's take it down on a tree, dad, because I would fucking, I would. This is probably not I'm unpacking it. This is probably could have predicted some things, and I would just drag bags of leaves out and dive into it. them. And my dad was like. I gotta take the treehouse yeah. down. <laughs> like, they like, think three times every time. It's like you have to stop diving uh, into first, a bag oh, of leaves. Yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had when I was like, this is probably like, I was probably like fifth grade area, and it was like. What do you want to be? What you, again? Now that I'm starting to say it. Uh, it's like, what do you <laughs> want to be? Sense. I don't know what you're about to say, but that's usually how it goes. <laughs> it was like it was like a fifth grade like class thing where it was like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was like, I want to be a kid who lives in this treehouse. Again, it wasn't a treehouse. I lived outside. Yeah, and lives in a treehouse with his dolls. <laughs> Look and around the room, everybody. Podcast, <laughs> that's look how at you, you become a podcast. Yeah, we're in the treehouse with this a little is the bu- tree puppy dog. This is it. You achieved your dream, bud. <laughs> Holy shit. Not all that sounds like the, to be. The, the, the plot to, uh, what's that scary? Not inherited. Um, uh, hered- oh, hereditary. Hereditary. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty yeah. much the plot. They Dude, were in the treehouse with chick lost dolls. her head in that movie, you've seen it? Uh, bro, oh, it's one of my favorite... <laughs> When I, oh, I and, was, and, and what a relief because that fucking ticking noise she was making thank so god they killed that her early was <laughs> annoying yo I watched that that movie alone in my house like by myself and I was like you know that was only a few years ago like grown ass adult and I was like scared I was mm. like yo this movie I'm turning this shit off Bro, that shit scared me the fuck out I saw an Am I the Asshole the other day that I was reading and I was like this sounds familiar Am I the asshole? I, 16-year-old male, brought my sister, nine female, to a party where she had an allergic reaction to walnuts. And on her way to the hospital, she stuck her head out the window <laughs> and was decapitated because I swerved near a telephone pole. And now my mom is screaming in my face about it at dinner. Am I the asshole? <laughs> and I kept driving. <laughs> That's great. That Holy one. shit. But, and maybe mm-hmm. I'll match you on some of the uh, the sickness. I would have just given in and, and joined up with the devil the same yeah. way in oh, like yeah. I am legend I'm like what is Will Smith fighting against right. just, just go, go hang with him yeah. man just- we, were, we were saying we've been saying that a lot like uh, probably too much but just like bad <laughs> shit going on it's like ah, okay I'll just go with the bad guys whatever bro and I'm not listen, now I'm, I'm Dennis Rodman because the they're bowing to this kid the moment he went to treehouse he was, he was god of the devil yeah. <laughs> I am legend great. is another underrated movie to me. haven't yeah. seen that they're, one they're making that, that wow. you didn't I, see I, I am legend yeah I don't know Someone, I think someone spoiled it and I was just like well okay I actually, now, and now that I'm saying it, I don't even know how it ends anymore. Is, but was someone it definitely true told that, me that um, I thought like they said that him and Michael B. Jordan were making a sequel, but then that was like that was I definitely heard. Now that you say uh, Michael B. Jordan, but then I, I, I think they said that was not real or like not official. That was like just talked about I hope something not. like that. I hope not. You know what I'm nah. just leave it as leave it is. as. Uh, yeah, See, I'm not, I, I'm I'm okay with like if you make something and it sucks, then it's just like okay, I forget about it. It's like Jordan on the Wizards. Like mm. it doesn't really ruin. Oh, yeah. when people say that, like, do shitty you know, father. Yeah, no one talks about that. Who gives a shit? If, like, if it's good, then great. We got a new movie, and if it sucks, we just pretend it didn't happen. Yeah. Do you think running. he was he wanted to kill his family, Will Smith, in that movie? Like, how did you not see what them, was going to come? Running yeah, to the helicopter, yeah, it's like, like you know, I saw too that. late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little, a little force. Aren't you the here, scientist? Doc? Yeah, here? you should have figured that shit out. You sacrificed your children. And kept, Yo, your, cause and kept the, your dog. Because the only yeah, I was gonna say, you know what's the like worse than being alone in civilization with your dog is being alone with your fucking kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, listen, no, there's only room for one of us here. <laughs> Go on the helicopter with your mom. Get out of here, kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Holy I'm kidding, shit. I love my kids. <laughs> it's okay. If you uh, what, what do you what, what do you think you guys would be doing if you weren't doing this? Is uh, there a plan A or B or is this plan C? Know. What is this? You know? I don't know, man. I would probably I, I would 
probably living living like on a beach somewhere in the island somewhere. Just I always regret selling seashells or something. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I was thinking about this the other day. I want to like tell my kids, like, you know, I'm lucky enough to get some money from this place, and I want to be like, I'll take care of you, and you, if you want to go be like a bartender in the Bahamas and just live like a simple happy life, go mm-hmm. do it. Yeah, because sometimes I think doing all this shit, it's like being ambitious and it's cool and there's opportunities and all yeah. that. But there are people who are just doing like the simple life. And oh man, fucking I'm jealous. Probably of that. so happy. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm jealous so of that shit. I still think about it. There's one time I was with my family. We were on vacation in like the British Virgin Islands. I think it was St. Thomas, and <laughs> we were on a boat, like a booze cruise. Not even, it wasn't a booze cruise. It was, we're on a boat that had a bar, and talking to the bartender, and I was like, "How'd you come down here?" He's like, "I came down for vacation, never left." And he's right. like, "You want to know something awesome? I woke up this morning." It was a rooster in my bathtub. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know why that's so awesome. But, but it does. Yeah. <laughs> I want to live a life where I could wake up to a rooster in my bathroom. Yeah. Is, that yeah. so, is that so crazy? I, I could do that for like a month. Well, that is a and thing too. I wonder if sometimes just... it's... But I think it's but different it t- it when you're... It takes a certain... You know, like, I, I feel like I have this drive and this ambition to like... I, it, a lot of it is, you know, you want to make money and all that shit. But it's also like, I just want to put out good shit. And I want to put out the better than that guy. And, yeah. you know, but yeah. there are, if you if you don't have that... And you are just like, I want to have a small family or just a couple friends. You want to be single, whatever. If you have that simple mentality, God damn, that's nice. I, yeah. I think it's a part. It it's, it's just about accepting it. Like if yeah. you're accepting like, this is what I'm doing. Like that, that like yeah. uh, we had uh, Arian Foster as a podcast here, uh, mm. microdosing. And there was a video that Instagram posted the other day. And it was Arian talking about how like he has like three or four days. He can only go on vacation. And then yeah, you just get back to it. Yeah. And I'm I'm the same way. Like, totally. I, I was I was I, in, I, you know, I was in Jamaica for like five days and I was like, this sucks. But that's because we know we're coming back. Yeah. If you are just like, I'm here, if it's then, ended. then I think it's I think you're probably I mean, easier. I think if you're talking about being on an island, I think that may get, you know, kind of boring quickly. But if you just talking about just traveling and like different places Always on keep vacation, switching it up. Yeah. I don't see how that could ever get boring. But that's yeah. that's where you need, you know, money for that. Oh, yeah. Kind of shit. So it's like money for the trade off of it's like I've always said. Get a fucking jet ski, go mm-hmm. down to one of these islands, rent it out for fifty bucks for a half hour, and yeah. then you live on like the beach. Yeah, and yeah. it's not gonna be glamorous, but right. most people are trying to take vacations where you could live every day. Exactly. You know? And that's that's I, to your original question. I wouldn't even know how to answer it because say I wanted to be a garbage man, which is a great job. I think that would only last for three years before I'd want something to, else. Something yeah. else. That's just yeah. how I'm wired. Are you getting bored of this? No, because this there's so much <laughs> space to do other things within it. Yeah. It's kind of just like a big genre whereas a job can be this like yeah. this is different than doing morning radio where it's like this is the gig yeah yeah yeah. podcasting allows you to do so much other things that are yeah. tied to podcasting but not quite yeah, that, yeah. More or less. i remember minahan asked me that once where i, I went on his podcast because he was like i don't know someone wanted to argue about something and i was like oh, i'm not gonna argue yeah, like, I'm, not, I'm not doing that yeah. and he's like okay i guess we got to pivot uh what do you want to do in five years <laughs> and, and i was like i was like i i actually i will be doing this case radio but aside from that in five years i'll be doing nothing i do right now like mm. be to merch or something show, like yeah, every yeah, yeah. and that was about five years ago and everything yeah. i'm doing now that's not you know everything's case radio with jason mm. but like but it's all shit i wasn't doing yeah, five years it's ago. all like the same gig, but just different kind of variations of it. Yeah. Where, I mean, you guys are doing the bare minimum, of course. Oh, bare minimum. Course. <laughs> Gotta do the bare minimum. But, uh, That's what life is. Yeah. I mean, even with the privilege of this gig, like Maul and I went two hours outside of Mexico City for a week and brought our equipment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And That's we the recorded one thing. there. Like, yeah. I've always told him, especially during the pandemic, if I didn't have two kids, I feel like we could have taken this on the road. We could rent houses. We could bounce around, do all that shit. That's the beauty with podcasts. The the content, so much of this, because we talk so fucking much, Mm -hmm. you do run out of shit to talk about or you start talking about things you don't care about and it shows. You have to go out and live. To do this job, Trust you me, have man, to live. Again, I, 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 there was like a several year period where it was just like work and then take care of my kids, work and take care of my kids. Mm. And like, I didn't have any stories. I didn't have any fucking Did you feel yourself to- falling into like a depression in that, in um, that zone? Uh, I think I'm depressed and I don't know it. <laughs> so yeah. like, I would never have been like, there was never a moment where I was like, I'm depressed. But mm-hmm. like looking back on it and probably even currently, you can like, see it. I think there's probably, yeah. Uh, signs, oh, this is depression. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of times where I, I say like, I think I'm depressed guys. And all these guys go, 
Yeah, dude, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're no, you're no. late. <laughs> yeah. so, You're the last to find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Uh, That's how the, it goes with depression a lot of times. Yeah. Well, you well, I also think there's out. a difference of like depression. Like I I'm, I hesitate to say depression because I know there are people who can't get out of bed in the morning. Yeah. yeah. I'm depressed in the sense of like, you know, I don't know. I got some issues and the shit I got to work through, yeah. but I'm still. Every, everything Kevin says, I don't know if anyone here watches Parks and Rec, but everything Kevin says is like when Andy's at the um, – the charity and and they're like Andy, what? he's just staring out a window and like Andy, are you okay? And he goes, he goes, I'm fine. It's just life is pointless and nothing matters. And I'm always tired and I can't sleep and I'm overeating and none of my hobbies interest me anymore. <laughs> That's me, bro. That's fucking me too. Yeah, and deep. the joke is Kevin that he's depressed. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we uh, cause you know, obviously mental health took over the podcast space as much as it did every, Yo, everywhere we, else as far as the narrative. <laughs> and as someone that you know, was going to therapy before it was trendy. I'm the hipster of therapy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Very much yeah, so. Like, now, like, therapy's mainstream now. It's so, like, I'm not really into oh, it. Oh, dude, yeah. I completely agree. <laughs> yeah, uh, it really is. But, but that's uh, uh, ther- Therapy's gone pop, and yeah. I don't like it anymore, man. Yeah, once Whole Foods opened up across the street from therapy, it was kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, um, so I'm done. They opened a yeah. Chipotle yeah. and a Starbucks yeah, 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 in yeah. therapy. Yeah. Uh, therapy's but, on the radio now. But to what you just read, like, therapy sometimes can be bad. Yeah. Because self-awareness can make you more fucking depressed. Bro, yeah. The more you the learn about yourself, you're like, have, fuck. Of, bro, I feel like awful. I'm the most self-aware person in the world. Even if I'm not, maybe not acting on it and it doesn't look that way, trust me, on the inside, yeah. I know what the fuck is <laughs> up and going yeah. on. And yeah. it's a, that's that, I think, is what prevents us from being those people who can just live on the beach because yeah. you're, you're, I'm self-aware to a fault and I'm always thinking about what could be or can be and those people just wake up and they don't care they don't and they don't have that and they're, yeah. and they're happy. They, Every day is a new bliss. adventure. It's like, I, what's today? Yeah, and, and, and going and today might just be, I got to go to the grocery store but when I'm there, the cashier is going to tell me a joke and I'm yeah. going to be happy about yeah. that and that's yeah. it, And that's dude. it. Simple. That's it. Dude, I'm, I'm glad you, you said something that you were probably joking about but I think I'm going to go further with it. The, <laughs> uh, where you're like, therapy's actually bad. Um, there was a tweet that went, I don't know if it went viral or whatever. Someone here quote tweeted. I didn't check the numbers on it on that. And I, and I, I read it. I scanned it. I read the headline. And <laughs> it was like therapy is actually has kind of jumped the shark. And then I was reading it and it was like a lot of things my therapist said to me. And in the moment I was like, that's bad advice. Yeah. And it was talking about how like therapy speak has gone too far. Mm, where yeah. like if you talk to a therapist and you're like, you need to cut them out of your life. Like they don't, you don't have the capacity for them right now. The capacity for them. And I remember like at the beginning of the pandemic, I was like, I go to therapy and I was like, dude, I got like six friends who were dying. (laughs) Like, And she's like, you're balancing six bowls. And like, that's, you can't do that. Put them down. I was like, so what the fuck are you telling me to do right now? (laughs) Like, You're telling me you don't feel like doing your job. Because like, like, this is the shit I'm bringing. Your advice is stop doing it. That doesn't work. (laughs) No, no, no. That that whole, that that, uh, it doesn't serve you shit. I had an argument. I'm, I'm between therapists now. (laughs) I had to let go of one of them. And one of our second to last sessions, maybe she billed me when I fired her. Like I fired her on the last. I session. didn't pay for my last she, one either. And she oh, billed yeah. me, and I was like, "I should have just That's texted what... you." Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we were talking about something in regards to my life that required me to just suck it up, like be a fucking man. Yeah. This is a responsibility. Yeah. You got bills to pay. Like all this is it isn't serving you. Like you need to think yeah. about you. Know, like no, this is a situation where you have to be a man. And work just through it step and up do, yeah and exactly not what fucking complain yeah. listen i'm with feelings i get it this is awful advice right. yeah, if you're doing up, this yeah. with other people and, they're gonna miss a mortgage payment yeah, yeah. <laughs> their children may not yeah, this yeah. is awful right, advice to right. tell an adult yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and all Dude, everyone's was, a narcissist everyone is gaslighting everyone doesn't have the capacity yeah. it's like yo these, you, my, you're all parroting. My therapist says. My therapist says. My therapist says. It's, like, it's crazy. How about it's just insane. fucking get have back you, to like living and working? And <laughs> was, here's get, the dude, other she shit. Was, she literally, she was like, stop. It was like a friend who was like going into rehab and had all these mental issues, and she's like, you need to stop talking. I was like, I, was like, I don't think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, she's like, she's like, like yeah. my favorite thing to do was during the pandemic. You know, we was kind of trying to figure life out, and we all, everybody was on uh, downloaded the Citizen app. Uh huh. And to me, that was the best therapy. It was like, you go on that app, it's somebody shot three blocks over, somebody stabbed two blocks life, down. I'm like, okay, my worse, life bro. is not that bad. Life could always like, worse. somebody's getting killed right yes. downstairs. Like, Yo, for real. I thought we were all supposed to be in the house. Like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on outside? Like, <laughs> I like the Citizens app where, Citizen app where it was like, uh, it, it, particularly in New York, where I was just like, like thinking about how you, how you compare it to if you lived elsewhere, where like if you lived in the suburbs, and it yeah. was like, 
Someone on your block literally just got stabbed. It was like, that's right. I need milk. Yeah. <laughs> like, that happened in the suburbs. It'd be like a go, lockdown. That's right? Right? Yeah. 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 I go back. Absolutely. Like, it's, like, it's like outside of like a famous deli. Someone was just stabbed. It's like, yeah. Ah, yeah. I, I, am, I am doing a chicken cutlet. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Go right out there. Duck under the crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great point. Yeah. Um, so uh, we got into it about Barstool. So we got to talk about you guys and your business. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, you know, you, you kind of addressed it on on the, the one of the latest episodes, but been a lot of back and forth with the previous podcast you guys were on. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Actually, let me tell you real quick, just a uh, free free therapy on not you know unsolicited. Yeah, mm. get off of Reddit, bro. Get off of Reddit. I heard you guys mention it a couple times in the show recently. The Reddit will just fucking no. They eat try to they try to get me on Reddit, but I don't, I don't be on Reddit. Dude, don't, don't, don't do it. Because even I even don't really mind it. Even when I was on it, I went through like. I created the Barstool Reddit. Okay. Uh, thinking it was going to be like Is a there place. Oppenheimer. To right, yeah. yeah, for real. I, I, a lot of positive energy, right? I, 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 guess, I guess I did not know. I, I definitely did not know Reddit, like what Reddit people are like. Yeah. And I thought Let's it was going to be a, a community place. Where yeah. everyone can connect. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was like a place we're going to find content and we're going to be. Let's build each other up. Oh, yeah. no. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. That shit turned on you real quick. Yeah. And they fucking hated me. And I. And I would do what I think you're doing now is the same thing. I would like I would read it and I wouldn't let it affect what I'm doing. Yeah. But it does. But it and, and it does and it fucks with you. And mm -hmm. even if you're like strong enough to be like, okay, but fuck you, and I'm yeah. still gonna keep doing what I'm doing, it's just not healthy to read all that shit. It's, it's not. like it gets into your fucking brain, it even does. if you don't think it, it does, does, you know? Yeah. But I know there was just a lot of like a lot of gossip and a lot of chatter and like did that has that Com that all started from the list, right? The complex list or whatever you guys were going through. Yeah, these guys it's been me, bubbling and boiling for a while now, right? Yeah. These guys, well, well, Julian particularly, he made me. Uh, he wanted to react <laughs> to the list. And I, Dude, I, the producers are always yeah, trying. They, they, Ours trying are always things, like, yo, you man. want me to you want me to bring him in here and we can get him on the no, no, yeah, no, like, no, like, no. I want a motherfucker yeah, behind his back. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't. We're gonna talk about him. <laughs> yeah. Like last I said to his face, are you kidding me? <laughs> last episode's title was Rory is Drake's munch. I'm like. <laughs> Thanks, producer. <laughs> I know it's clickable, yeah. but fuck. Yeah. <laughs> They're not helping me out, bro. That, the thing with that was it, it's because it, it was it's a real thing for Rory and myself. Yeah. I, I understand how to others, they just want it to be entertaining. It's, and they want us to go it's like back. wrestling. You know yeah, they mean? want us to go back and forth, but it's like, you know, it, it's a real thing. Yeah. You know, it was a real situation that happened that um we, we went through and we dealt with. Um, but it, it, it started to get... Um, a little too personal and and you know i'm i'm all with entertaining and you know because we built a a, a fan base and and we built a following so we owe them the story we, we owe them what happened like what and we did that and there's been little back and forths throughout the the last two three years about it but um you know it's the last exchange it got a look it started because i know where rory and myself can take it yeah because we know the real story. We right. know what really happened. We know things that really are going on. So mm -hmm. it just was like, we could entertain us and have fun and, you know, air out a whole bunch of shit. But, you know, I'm one of those guys, man, where my integrity is just, it's not for entertaining. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's personal, you know. And I, I wanted to go back and forth and I wanted to entertain it. And, you know, we had a whole bunch of things that we could have said and... But I always go back to the, you know, the feeling of it's kind of like post nut clarity mm -hmm. when, you, when you have sex with somebody you shouldn't, mm -hmm. and you're in the like, you're oh, in the bathroom, no. after, you're in the bathroom after you're like, why did I just do that? <laughs> so it's kind of like we can, podcast yeah, like we ever. can go, we can go back and forth, we can do this forever. But then it's like, I'm gonna look up one day and be like, why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, because people do. It will get views and oh, it gets downloaded. Yeah, but it's like it's for the moment, and then as soon as somebody clicks refresh, it's the next top story. It's like, yeah, 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 so yeah. it's like, why did we entertain that? Why did we go back and forth? When again, it's a real situation, it's right, a real right. thing. Like you know, it's something that we went through, and you know, I mean, I'm I'm all for entertaining. I'm all for having fun, and you know, people say, oh, you know, it's just have fun, don't take it personal. I'm like, but it but is, it is. Personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the funniest thing. Speaking of Reddit, with the last five minute response I gave, which to me was like, all right, this is it's done now. When I was like, it was just leave me the fuck alone. You shut up. I'll shut up. We move on with our lives. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Everyone in the comments, Twitter, everything. Yo, you sound hurt. Yeah, 
<laughs> right, right. Oh my god! Yeah, how hurt not... Rory sounds. I'm like, yeah. 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 yeah I went through, the, I went was some hurt. Shit that hurt. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, that's not yeah. offending me. I sounded hurt because I was hurt. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean that. It like the 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 line between real life and I mean I've I dealt with it my whole life because I stupidly made my content my life yeah. yeah when things were good it was fun right i was like let's talk about everything mm. shit gets bad well you can't you can't close the door on that you can't you know yeah. put that back in and you the, talk about everything else yeah yeah, yeah right right you know i mean? also hate that too though it's like okay well i give you 99 percent of my life can i have the one well, percent yeah. you know Something no no, no. if you give me 99 you have to give me 100 right. fuck you no i right. don't you know right. Right. i don't have to give you anything so right. if you know well, it's what, like what the fans want yeah. it yeah <laughs> it's it's like you know uh, i don't think and when they're when there is more to the story, yeah, in whatever situation you may be dealing with, and yeah. then online, you could say it, yeah. but it's gonna be ten. Oh, it's a times lot worse. More. Like I yeah, said, it's a, it's, it's so, Dude, but, I mean, but it's I, like for what? You know right. what I mean? Like for you what? Can, especially what I've learned, you can't change minds. You can't. So and it's then not the thing like you is, guys our story is going to stay the same because it's the truth. truth. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, how many times do you want us to keep repeating the right. same yeah, thing? Right. right. It's like this is what happened. No, but 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 I think people probably know that there's always more to the story. Yeah, and so they sure. want to hear the full truth. Or they just completely like, make what? up their own. Yeah, yeah. brother, <laughs> let me tell you, bro. I, yeah. There are rumors about me that I'm like, this is fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> that you would put like ridiculous <laughs> stories yeah. that I'm like, come on, guys. And the like, speculation is fine. Oh, if you, you oh. want to think something like, oh, yeah. let me try to concoct my own story of what I bet I, have. I, I think it's not. Was, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's the people that with it such confidence. It is. It's yeah. true. You know, yeah, like, yeah. What? what? Tell me just, my it gets business. Weird. It gets. But, it gets the, weird. Yeah. I. It's the catch twenty two of the shit. Those people are extremely important. So as much as you say for your own mental health, don't look at Reddit. I look at it because it is important. Yeah. That they're t- even if it's I, negative. I get that. Unfortunately, that's the space we live in, and but it's I, not just I podcasting. Think- it's the world yeah i do get that and 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 but i went through a phase where i was talking i was thinking about the most diehard barstool fans are, are they are important and even sure. if they're like shitting on me they are the ones who are clicking and reading and listening the most mm-hmm. but then you especially when you get to the level that i think we are all at with our yeah. shows there's a lot of other people yeah who are not fucking trolling the reddit sure. and are and just love your show and yeah. you know want good things for you you yeah. know i mean it's just it's weird now because we now you know when you try to be private, it's like, oh, you're acting weird. Mm. Yeah, it's like, no, no I'm. I'm some I'm things are just private. Yeah, like some things are just private. Yeah, like, <laughs> I understand this is entertainment podcasting, and we talk about everything. We talk about everybody else's issues and things going on. So when it's us, we should talk about us as well. Sure. But it's like within that, some things should remain private. Yeah. I also go back and forth on that, where they're like, oh, well, you know, you you talk about everyone else, so. You know, why do you get a free pass? I'm like, I don't know, because it's a double standard, motherfucker. <laughs> like, Sometimes we, it's that simple. We, yeah. make these, yeah. we make up these rules. Oh, oh, they're not talking about that person because it's their friend. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Exactly. Fucking yup. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Which is what you're supposed to. I have, yeah. I have admitted to that. Hey, bias over here. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, we Absolutely. never said we were unbiased. So, Absolutely. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, from from an outsider, it does seem like, you know, you guys are, have towed the line well. And I, I do think, though, it's, it's a, I guess, a good sign that you know i've always felt when people care this much and yeah. want your dirt and want yeah. the fight and want the battle yeah. it means they're interested and you're doing something good and you're you know you have yeah. a successful show and all when that people when they're invested and right they're invested that's a good word emotionally yeah, uh you know they, they, they spend a lot of time in their real lives listening to us right uh, throughout their commutes to work school or whatever so you know when when things happen to something that they come to fall in love with they want to know, like, damn, what the fuck happened? Yeah, it's like, yeah. okay, well, we told you, and we continue to go back and forth and drop little, you know, dimes here and there. But then it gets to a point where it's like, this has to stop right. some at some point yeah. because it's gonna get, it's gonna go somewhere else. Well, and, and you know what? At the end of the day, those fans who maybe you they you finally give them what they want, yeah. Maybe next week they pick up a new podcast or they yeah. they switch their commute so they no longer listen to podcasts and Naturally. they're fucking gone Naturally. and you blew up your whole shit, yeah. For them, yeah. and they don't even listen anymore. Exactly. It's like, and so what's that, even the point? That can't be your most compelling content because you're going to continue to chase drama. And then you're going to start creating drama yeah. that doesn't exist to begin with. And now you're in a cycle that is not long lasting yeah. at no. all. But, no, I mean, I think you guys have done a great job of standing on your own too and like pivoting a little bit. I know you're going to yeah. a little more comedy direction. And, yeah. Um, we want to have fun, man. This, is, this yeah. is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to, you know, like we like getting up and just going to random places and setting up and just 
talking about you know just where we're at the environment yeah. like yeah we're here we're here today and tomorrow we're going here and going on tour going to london and seeing you know 900 people inside of a theater to see us and I'm just like, what the sick. fuck is going yeah. on? Yeah. No, you I mean, know what I mean? Like, why are you here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it all the time. Doing here? Like, yeah. And even like things back to Reddit that people deem as like an insult to us is what I've loved about this process of two years just being able to try shit. Yo, like what a real. cool feeling. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it it's does. It's funny you said two it's years. Been, we had to start an entire new thing. Yeah. It's the second uh, year. I which... tell people this here at Barstool who sometimes are are like... I, I can't stop looking at this classic game, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> throw back golden right here, eye. Right? Did you guys have no ob job rule in your house? Huh? No ob job rule in your house? Yeah, that's that's cheating. That's cheating. Can, was, yeah, come on. Yeah, no. Little uh, person. But, but <laughs> two, two years is the time it takes to like grow some shit Even know what it is. To the point that like, yeah, like you, you'll know. You'll have the answer maybe or maybe you have to pivot or whatever but two years you got to give it like you know yeah. and 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 then you could find your way but i think you guys are well well i mean you already know that but like you guys are well i we just want to have fun yeah man. like this is like you know this is like what are we what are we complaining about yeah. you know right I mean? at the we end of the day it's like everyone's kick it and have fun that and is crack podcast jokes, beef I, is funny it's, it's, like, yo, it's insane we're all good yeah dude. like it's like we're this is all making money for fucking this like this is it's literally what do you say today uh I, I I sit half asleep on a couch and talk to a microphone. Like <laughs> that's what we do for a living. We're good, bro. Yeah, we can't complain. And then yeah. the comments under like, "Yo, he violated his existence." I'm like, "Dude, I'm nothing has changed." <laughs> <laughs> that's the other thing. Too. Like, I'm, yeah. Hold on, yeah, wait. Let me look. <laughs> I think I'm okay. I'm yeah. all right. I'm fine. I yeah. promise you. Yeah. I have lived in the rap world, NBA world, football world. We can identify a specific type of woman in that existence. Okay. What is the hockey groupie like? <laughs> the puck slots, the, how do we identify the hockey group? The, the, puck, the puck sluts, the puck bunnies, the, puck the ring bunnies, rats. Is, yeah. is, that, is that what is that they call the them? A puck bunny. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I need yeah. a puck bunny. Do you know yeah. something? Like, yeah. I want some puck bunnies. Yeah, I know something. Yeah, it, <laughs> I can say, you know, in the, the, the rap world, we just go, hey, that's a hoe. Yeah, yeah. that's a hoe. That's all we got in hip hop. You just show up, you saw your PK Subban, you're good. You guys have a lot of respect for them. They get a cute name. It's like, that's a whore. Puck bunny? Oh, God. Where's the merch? <laughs> um yeah it's no, just uh sure it's a uh it's i so I'm, i can give two specific examples I'm trying to make it more you know, you know, I'm, I'm like locked in right like, i need to know um he's, he's gonna describe two people who are, you are, who are gonna hit you up after this podcast uh, <laughs> are they the, the super head of the hockey world yeah. jesus christ puck bunny I, a, I, I, I think especially in like if you're Boston is a big hockey town. Minnesota, I'm sure. If you're in some of these spots, it's it's life. Yeah, I, honestly, it's just a woman in the Northeast. Yeah, in my in my yeah. experience, that's yeah. it. Or, or, or a woman in New England. <laughs> now, obviously, I ran in hockey circles, so uh, that's that's probably where they would I'd, I'd find them. Uh, Different term, but Eskimo it's basically brothers, every woman I've ever met. <laughs> you want my mom's number? Dude? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, oh man, great, puck dude. bunny! I gotta get a puck bunny. Man. I need puck one bunny. Of those. Jesus Christ! Dude, yeah. I gotta come up with yeah, cool right. names for our like hoes. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, but it's like, I thought IG Honey was as far as it went. Nah, <laughs> puck bunny! Like, come on, we need some puck. Nah, bunny. I feel mean, like I feel like Insta Thought was like a yeah a term that got thrown around. That was kind of right? lazy though. Yeah. yeah, but like, where would you meet? Is it just at the games? Like with the rap world, we know starlets, certain clubs. You go. There's NBA players at that table, that section. Where does where do the Rangers party? Oh, oh, I don't know the Rangers themselves, but in in, in Boston, yeah, I could give you the bar names. Um, <laughs> Yo, ho hockey dudes are <laughs> hockey guys are some of like the most down to earth guys you will ever saving meet. money. No, you, no you bottle service. No yeah. bottle service. No, 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 no. Uh, they no. they are uh, they're fucking these chicks. They are <laughs> cheap. Like but the most famous. It's guy also are, the the is, good part of a hockey being a hockey player, like. Hmm. Connor McDavid comes sit on this couch. Most people aren't gonna know who that it's is. Like the right. greatest guy. So you can ever just go hang out at regular ice. bars. You don't have yeah. to. You don't have to. They're also separate yourself from the exceedingly gay hockey players. <laughs> yeah, they just yeah. want to hang out with the boys and they'll just like uh, fuck around in the locker room and like that, talk yeah, about their dicks and shit. That's why girls are like, I gotta fuck him. Like, yeah. I gotta make sure he wants to fuck me. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's just a contest. Like, I'm gonna turn this guy straight. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if I'm allowed to say this mm. in this building. No, you are. Say but 
Saturday is for the boys. Uh, it's one of the gayest terms I've ever uh, heard in my life. Sure, the shit that sure, you guys started dude. with Saturday. My god brother used to say that. I'm like, it's pretty gay. Bro, bro you want to talk about <laughs> being off a timer. Saturday sounds like you should Yo. hang out with some women on a Saturday. John, John invented that shit and it became everywhere. I it was, mean, it was it's biggest phrase fucking it's ever. probably it made like a hundred million dollars sure. for other people. <laughs> Not for him or for us. But that went wild. I mean, yeah. that was wildfire. That shit went crazy we had ex-presidents saying senators of the boys and shit like that it it is very much a like a fucking like i I think instagram now has like the your memories and shit like that and i don't look at those because like i don't want to see like i'm like oh that's cringy like did you ever start a catchphrase? Like yeah, that, but that see, he says viral, that shit. And you're like, ah, oh, God, that was a he, fucking... He, he, like, he, I was uh, drunk. Why'd you guys fucking run with that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just fucking around one night, dude. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> he was the one, though, he want you know, like, he's more into fashion and wants things to be, like, cutting edge and cool. And I'm the one who's like... This is gonna make money now. Who fucking yeah, cares yeah. if it's played out or it's right. lame or your you know your dad knows the phrase now? This is when you make the money. Let's right. go. Right. Mm-hmm. So, we'll still get like things from merch where they'll be like, Do you have any Saturday the Boys ideas? It's like still one of our biggest things in Amazon. It is, it's crazy. And it's I'll be like, Yeah, fucking stop selling all of it. <laughs> That's my idea, dude. <laughs> Every fucking so package good. someone buys, put a note in it says kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Find That's some new idea for the brand, brand guy. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> but, but, but that when, happens with everything. Like once Tom That's, Cruise started doing the young jock is going down dance on Oprah oh, or whatever the fuck yeah, it was, it was yeah, like, well, that's dead. Yeah. Dude, we had, as soon uh, as it's dead is when it's fucking made yeah, it, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that, that was like was, a Snapchat filter with Saturday. For yeah. It was like the biggest fucking thing Dude, ever. It was, it was every, I mean, it was everything. It was. We had we had a meeting about it, and it was like, it had long popped off. In it. Not long, but like it was like a year into it. And we had a meeting, and I was just like, this fucking sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. And uh, and Eric, our CEO, was like, she's like, well, like, she like, I don't know if she was currently speaking to or had spoken to. It was advice she'd gotten at some point in her life. But she's like, I talked to the CEO of MTV, and he was like, I think the advice he gave was like, you don't have a brand until you're sick of it. Mm. And I was like, Once you well, I have it, a brand, and I would no point. longer like one. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I fucking return it? <laughs> I'm out. I'm over it. That's hilarious that you just sick of that shit. Like, I'm sick of it. I'm done. Fuck yeah. that. I mean, everywhere I mean, he went, too. That's all you heard. Sorry, for the boys. Yeah. Not playing the Slim Shady anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Where um, it, it was it's as gay as it gets, man. I When we were talking with Cameron, because, you know, well, their show okay, was... We had a fucking... We uh, there was one of the videos that we did before before taking off was me kicking hot girls off a boat. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Get out of here! Stand up with the boy! <laughs> <laughs> literally throwing them off a boat. Will you I, get your boobies out of here? <laughs> that's where your therapist be like, you have some intimacy, intimacy issues like yeah. that you need to address. Yeah, she plays the video like this Holy is not shit. Shit. Yeah. this is bad. It was a yacht. We were literally I'm throwing not. them off. <laughs> Ma, it was not hip hop, bro. <laughs> Not yeah, that's not hip hop. We need we yeah. need to put bunnies on the boat. You ever seen the sure. Where the Party At video? The Picture Giants the opposite. The, opposite. <laughs> the exact opposite of Where the Party At. Oh, wow. <laughs> Odell and the Giants did that, right? Yeah. The playoffs? yeah that was first Odell's for the boys, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Those rumors are out there. Oh, my God. That boat confirmed it, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Holy boys. Shit. Good um, shit, man. I have a one, one quick, quick question. Yeah. Because I never get to ask hockey questions. Yeah. And oh. movie questions. Let's put it together. Where does Jussie Smollett rank in hockey players in movies? Wait, who did he play? He was he in was Mighty, Mighty Ducks. Ducks. Was, who was he in Mighty no Ducks? No way. The only other black kid besides Keenan Thompson. Yeah, the, was he? The, 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 the no little kid way. with the curly hair? I don't think did, I did knew. He didn't like get like much playing time. Role, <laughs> like, uh, Gordon, Gordon didn't see the talent. You want to talk back a country, baby. <laughs> 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 you just channeled what he heard from the crowd at, <laughs> when he was sitting on the bench. Oh yeah, how about that? He was, yeah. he was that dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gordon didn't really see he the was vision. Not very good, if I remember right. Was yeah, that nah. Yeah, he was. He wasn't. He wasn't one of the stars. On yeah, the team. that's kind of everyone but Adam Banks sucked on the team, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Charlie Conway had dude. His look moments. at this picture. Julie the cat was nice. Yo, with how nice, how yeah. hard is that picture right there? <laughs> It looks like the fucking album cover right there. They're dropping yeah, a mixtape. That's dope. <laughs> that's dope. That's a classic uh, that movie. That is fun. What, was a great that movie. Great movie. That is... He was no, in I think it's... He was in one? He was was in that one? one? That's, I, I think, think that's it's Mighty one. Ducks 1, yeah. yeah. D2 yeah, is the best one. Two yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Easily. 
Yeah, no, this is the first one. So I'm going to put him down. He's way mm. down the list then. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know he was in it. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> How fucking great of a movie. Just look at, I mean, Emilio Estevez, like, it's just hilarious. Dude, it's it's, it's just, one of the, kind of like what we were talking about earlier, where it's like, you, you look at like the premise of older movies and it's like, this rich alcoholic got a DUI, so now he has to coach kids. Yeah, that's what the judge said. Yeah. <laughs> and then he drove on. And he drove on the ice. <laughs> like, I don't think he should be in charge of kids. <laughs> and, then, and then you and fucking. Then he the then you went, the then went and banged one of the kids' moms. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you were kind of a dirtbag. For real, yeah. like government issued punishment. <laughs> yeah. like, like the first thing you asked that kid was like, "So where's your dad at?" <laughs> he was like, you know, like well, Look, you can either go coach a bunch of ragtag kids. You can write a seventeen paper, seventy page paper. <laughs> Get the kids. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! Any and then day. you're such a dirtbag. You did the mom dirty, and then stayed for two more movies around her kid. Like, Get out of these people's lives. You already hurt the mom. You just ruined it. Dude. And Charlie was the prime example of having a bad therapist in the final movie. Well, you we, got this free scholarship, even... you fucking brat. The, just because you the... don't have Gordon as your coach. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Wait, was that was Craig Kilborn the coach? Uh, we were talking about Craig Kilborn the other day with uh, with Lewis Black. That was and funny. He just shit all over I think him. he was the coach. Craig Kilborn, mighty. If not, it looks just like him. No, I don't think it is. Well, if it's he... not, I'm being racist. No, well, yeah. Well, Mighty Ducks also <laughs> had that one shit of... up. <laughs> Who, what's the coach look like? That's in Mighty Ducks 3? Yeah. Mighty Ducks. D3, three. the high varsity coach. Mighty Ducks tried to have their like save the last dance moment in the second one when like they went to the hood to learn how to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they couldn't get it together. <laughs> like, it's like when Bob Cousy found yeah, out what a crossover was. Let's send him the hell's that a knuckle puck? <laughs> and who was who was in that who was in that writer's no, room? No, 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 that's the They're that's playing the against the world and they're like, let's send him to South Central. Yeah. <laughs> that's where the real hockey's at. <laughs> that was great. All right, boys. Good shit. Uh new Rory and Mall Pod, everywhere you get podcasts. That's yes, right. Anything else? Uh, um, uh, new merch dropping yeah. soon. Dope. Um, yeah, subscribe to our it's Patreon. Patreon. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's great, man. I mean, I, I've really been listening since since I came on the show, whatever, a couple months ago. Yeah, I've been keeping up with it, and I was telling these guys, it's like a very similar vibe to our show, plus some more music talk, which is something I always wanted to do more of. Yeah. So it's like kind of our vibe plus rap. So it's it's if that's do hockey your, players do you yell us in the rap? Um, I didn't. I was like nah. a punk rock whiny little kid. Okay. Um, I mean, I, was, did, I didn't not is. listen to rap, but I, I didn't like. I don't. I don't know. I you know. I know what I'm supposed to know. Honestly. He got along but, with camera. Yeah, <laughs> but that's good. Yeah. That's good. All, all is good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually told camera on like. I was like, by the way, I was like a punk rock guy. So yeah, I'm not gonna run <laughs> shit. Like, you knew Eminem, Limp Bizkit, and that one song Jay Z did with Lincoln Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whole album, <laughs> great album. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the kind of rap fan John has. He listened yeah. to the other Lincoln Park Jay Z crossover song, <laughs> not the one that everybody knows. The um, yeah, I was like camera. I, like, I know, hey ma. Um, <laughs> there you go. That's, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Stay right there. <laughs> All right. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Stuff, All right. Big thanks for watching. If you made it through this whole episode, that means you should be subscribed. There's so many of you out there who watch and don't subscribe. So make sure you are a KFC Radio subscriber. Make sure you get all the content when it drops. Click that button now. I have nine fingers. I'm still subscribed. It's that easy.